Hey guys, it's AD Video Editor, and in today's tutorial, I will be going over Sony Convolution Kernel. This effect is a little confusing and different and weird, and that is why I am here to help you guys go over it. So open up Sony Vegas, import your footage, um, adjust the length of your footage as necessary, and click to add a video effect, and find Convolution Kernel in here, add it, Oops, add it and click OK. And you'll see this comes up. And the main adjustments of this are you have row 1, row 2, and row 3, and you have columns for all these. And what the columns do is they adjust the weight of the surrounding pixels that surround the center pixel. So you'll notice if you just adjust these, not much will happen. Well, you, there you get a little shakiness, right? There. Okay, where was that? Right there. Got a little something. But I mean, this effect is very, you have to be very precise. So with this one, I recommend using the presets. And you'll see up here, it says preset and default. And by default, everything's at zero. But it comes with a bunch of presets like Blur, Emboss, Bump, Find Edge, Sharpen Edge, and Sharpen. And you'll notice if I just go to Emboss, it gives that effect. But it looks like nothing's changed. That's because only two things were changed, and that's Row 1, Column 1 was set to 2, and Row 3, Column 3 was set to negative 2. I mean, and it's out of 100. 100 and negative 100 and to be that precise to land exactly on 2 is kind of hard so I, I would recommend starting with the preset and based upon what they have you can mess around with it and see what you can adjust because it would be kind of hard to start with the default everything at zero and make some sort of effect I myself find it much easier just to go to a preset and then see what's adjusted and see if I can exaggerate that even more or make some other cool effect to it and after that we have the rotation and here if I just go to emboss and rotate it you will see that just sort of rotates the effect it doesn't rotate the video but if you will take a look at the colors like around the outline of my shirt the way they rotate around, going from red to green on sleeve, right sleeve, left sleeve, right shoulder, left shoulder, into the neck. And so it just rotates that around in case you want to change it up. Then we have the offset, as you should, and you should be familiar, that's just black and white, brightness, adjusting it. And then we have auto normalize. And what this does, it makes the, first let me go to default so you can see it. And what this does, it makes your video look normal. So if I were to take this off and change the scale, it's like black and white the entire time and it's hard. So even if you were right here and you got lost, you can't find how your video should look, if you have auto normalize on, it'll automatically normalize or make your video look normal. So I would highly recommend keeping auto normalize on. And you'll notice when it's on, you cannot change the scale. And so that's pretty much it for the effect. So keep on watching, play around with the presets. You might find an interesting preset that you kind of like. There's sharpen, sharpen edges, find edges, bump, and both. I like this in both effect. It makes it look cool. And you know, then just go around adjusting. You see, if I take column three, and make it lower. It kind of just adds a little brightness to it or up and down and up and down and you know find what works out find what looks cool like right away there if I just adjusted it by 0 0.041 it gave me an entirely new effect and that effect might come in handy looks kind of like a nice chalky paperish effect okay guys well please remember to subscribe and like and comment and keep watching my tutorials so I can get those 300 views and 100 new subscribers. And so you guys can get those awesome rewards. Thanks for watching.